Division number 20, check long division with multiplication. All right, we've got a long division problem here that we're going to do, and we have another one that has a remainder. This one doesn't have a remainder. It's going to come out even. But I'm going to show you how you can check to see if your answer is correct with multiplication. So let's take a look at this one. 6 goes into 144. 144 divided by 6. So, remember, what we do is we go right, then we go up, then we put the number below, and then we subtract. Okay? So, first thing we're going to ask is, when we go right, can 6 fit into 1? No, it can't. So we move over. Can 6 fit into 14? Yes, it can, because 6 times 2 is 12. So we're going to put the 2 above the 4, because we're not putting it into the 1, we're putting it into the 14, so the answer goes right there. Okay? We do our multiplication. 6 times 2 is 12. We put it below here, and we subtract. 4 take away 2 is 2. 1 take away 1 is nothing, so we just leave it. And now we say, can 6 fit into 2? Hmm, no, of course not. So it's the 4's turn to come down. It comes down next to the 2. 6 goes into 24 how many times? Well, our 6 times table tells us that 6 times 4 is 24. So we're going to put a 4 above here because 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 4 is 24. We're going to write our 24 down here, do our subtraction, and get 0. Now, to check it, what we do is we multiply 6 times 24, okay? And if it comes out to be this number, then we did it right. Here's our 24 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. We carry the 2 and put the 4 down. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 2 we carried over is 13, 14. And we get 144, which is the same as the 144 here, and that means that 24 is the correct answer. We've checked it, and we've proved that it is the correct answer. So now let's try it with one that has a remainder. Can 2 fit into 2? Yes, it can, one time. And 2 times 1 is 2. We're going to do our subtraction. We get 0. Now it's the 8's turn to come down. Okay? 2 goes into 8 how many times? 2 times what is 8? 2 times 4. So we're going to put our 4 up here. We're going to do our multiplication and get 2 times 4 is 8. We're going to do our subtraction, get another 0. And now it's the 7's turn to come down. 2 goes into 7 how many times? What 2 times table answer? What product gets you close to 7 but doesn't go over it? 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. So let's try 3. 2 times 3 is 6. We're going to do our subtraction, and we get 1. Now, you can write remainder 1. Sometimes people put the 1 over the 2 and say it's a half. But in this case, we're just going to leave it as remainder 1. So now the number we're trying to get is 287. So we're going to do 143 times 2. 143 times 2, and we're going to leave this off on the side for now, okay? For the ones with remainders, you leave them off on the side for now, because we're going to add them later on. So let's do 2 times 143. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. And we have 286, and now we add the remainder. 6 and 1 is 7. Drop the 8 down, drop the 2 down, and we have 287, which is the same as this one. That means 143 remainder 1 is correct. So that's how you do long division and check it with multiplication. You do your long division, you write your answer up on top, then to check it, you multiply the answer by this number, if it comes out to be the same as these, you know you did it correctly. And if you have a remainder, you do the same thing. You multiply these two, 
And at the end, after you've multiplied them, you add the remainder. And if they're the same, you did your long division correctly. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? No sweat. See you next video.